Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome, I'm Jess. I love sharing tips and tricks for living a healthy lifestyle. Um, my favorite thing is activewear, so you'll see lots of reviews for activewear on my channel. I also love sharing what workouts I'm doing as well as workouts you can do at home, um, whatever tips that I have for you, foods that I'm trying that are awesome. I have a bunch of recipes as well. Um, so if you are just looking for some fun ideas for being healthy, then definitely subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. My normal videos go up on Wednesday night at 5 p.m. Eastern and Saturday morning at 9 a.m. And if you make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, then you won't miss any extra special postings because uh, I might have some videos go up at other times and you don't want to miss out. So definitely subscribe. Thank you to all my new subscribers. This has been so fun lately and I'm loving. Um, thank you to everyone commenting and doing the live chats with me. I am loving connecting with all of you. It's so cool to have all these new friends from all around the world. Oh, it's just awesome. So thank you, thank you to everyone that has been interacting. It's been so much fun. So today's video is gonna be about reducing stress. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a little stressed. Um, personally, I'm still pretty much in quarantine. I live in Boston and they are lessening some of the regulations. There are some things that are starting to open up, but definitely it's not like we're going back to normal and a lot of things are gonna take some time. So I'm feeling the stress and maybe you are too, um, you know, depending on your situation. So just know that I'm thinking of all of you out there and I'm wishing you the best and I'm hoping that you're healthy and happy and doing well. Um, but I just wanted to share with you some ideas that I have for reducing stress right now, some things that you can do just to help maybe lift your spirits and feel a little better. So my very first tip to you to reduce stress is to exercise. You're probably not surprised that I'm giving you this tip because I love exercise um, and I hope you do too, but even if you don't, it's worth trying. So you definitely want to find something that you enjoy doing because then it's only going to reduce stress if you're enjoying it, right? But when you exercise, it releases endorphins and that gives you a pick-me-up. Do you ever notice like if you go for a walk that after you feel so much better? That's what I get when I work out. So there's so many options. You can do weightlifting if you have weights at home. If you don't, do a body weight workout, maybe try yoga. Yoga is an excellent way to center your mind. Um, you could just simply go for a walk, but I think just moving your body is gonna make you feel so good. And right now there's so many options. I mean, you can always just go right on YouTube to find other um, workouts. I love for yoga, like Yoga with Adrian is amazing. I will link her video down below. I also have an eight minute arms workout. I can link below if you wanna try it out. I um, have an eight minute abs if you wanna try that out, um, feel free. I also personally go to Burn Bootcamp. I have no affiliation with them, I'm just a member, but they are doing amazing streamed workouts right now, so highly recommend. Just find something that you can do to move your body, even like maybe make a really fun playlist and just dance. Like I am a part of this group, it's called Rose Gold Goddesses with Sahara Rose. Um, and she has dance parties on Instagram and literally you just like crank up the music and just dance around and like, who cares? You're in your house, nobody can see you. And moving your body just feels so, so good. So that would be my absolute number one tip above everything else. If you wanna reduce stress, move your body and exercise. My second tip is another thing that I've mentioned before. Um, in other videos is to meditate. And I meditate every day. It is so calming to me. I do it in the morning and I try to do it at night as well. And for me, it really like prepares me for my day. It really centers me. If you've never meditated before, it might seem kind of difficult to just sit there in silence. So I would 
recommend a guided meditation. There's tons of meditations on YouTube. I love the Honest Guys, for example. They are wonderful. Um, so I will link some of theirs below. I'll link my favorite one, which is the color meditation. Um, if you have meditated before, you might try like transcendental where you think of a mantra. Um, you can also just say your own mantra to yourself, like come up with a statement like I am calm, I am safe, I am calm, I am safe. Just take a few minutes to breathe, breathe deeply and just repeat that to yourself. You can close your eyes. I am calm, I am safe, I am calm, I am safe. And really, if you just take a few minutes out of your day, try to find a quiet place, you will feel so much better. Even just breathing deeper, like when you're stressed, you might find you're breathing really shallow. Just take a nice deep breath, nice deep breath, and that is going to really calm you down really quickly. Maybe it's not permanent, maybe their stress will spike again, but just try to take those minutes for yourself. And if you can get away and like do an actual meditation, it's wonderful. Um, again, there's plenty of resources out there. The one that I do in the morning is the Deepak Chopra and Oprah app. And I love them. They actually do free 21 day meditations a lot of times. Um, I think you can do that if you're a beginner meditator, if you've meditated before, like I think it's for all levels, but I think it's great. And then at night, what I usually do is more of a guided meditation so i'll just go on my ipad i'll find a guided meditation and i'll put that on as i'm getting ready to go to bed so definitely i know it might seem intimidating but you don't have to be like on the pillow like oh like if you're thinking about meditating and you're like i could never do that i used to think the same exact thing i literally used to be like no i can't sit still but you might surprise yourself and you can start slow. You can just do like set a timer for like two minutes and say your own personal mantra and see how it goes. So tip number two to meditate. Tip number three is to make something. Do you ever find that when you're making something, you kind of get into this creative flow? So maybe you love to draw or paint. And when you get into that state, it really just can calm your mind and hopefully it kind of like takes that crazy stressed feeling. You really almost get into a meditative state, right? You get in the flow. Maybe for you, it's not an art. Maybe it's more like you like to bake. So I know a lot of people are baking these days. Maybe you're just making something delicious for yourself. Maybe you're cooking a meal, but when you are creating something, you're really focusing on that task. So it's a lot harder to think about your worries because you're actually present in what you're doing. And so I really think that making something, whether it's like a creative artistic endeavor or something like, like even I'm making this video right now and this is all I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about you. I'm thinking about my connection to all of you out there and that I want to get this point across to help you feel less stressed. Um, so being present in that moment when you're creating is really, really great. And that's definitely going to help at least take your mind off whatever is stressing you in the moment. Tip number four is to do something self-care related. Maybe that means taking a bath, maybe painting your nails, doing a hair mask, maybe you're a guy, so maybe it's giving yourself a really good shave. But doing something like that for yourself hopefully should help to reduce your stress level because you are putting care into you. And again, when you're fully present in that moment, and you're focusing on what you're doing, then you're not thinking about those worries and things in that moment. So find something that really relaxes you, that you enjoy. Um, I'm not saying to treat it like an escape. Like I know it's really tempting to throw on Netflix and just binge watch, um, and that can be really fun too. You don't have to feel guilty about that. 
but do something that's like really special just for you, almost like a ritual. Um, if you're interested, I actually have a um, love spell, like a nice bath you can prepare for yourself. So I'll link that video below if that's your thing. Um, but find something that feels like it's just for you um, and that's really gonna reduce stress and take your mind off your worries. My last tip to reduce stress is to reach out for support. Now, hopefully you have friends and family that you're still able to connect with by phone calls and Skype and Zoom and all those different things. But right now, if you're still in isolation, if you're in quarantine, even if you're not, you might still feel very isolated. This is a very difficult time. So you really should try and reach out for the support that you need. Um, maybe you don't have a big network of friends and family that you can be reaching out to, but there's tons of online groups. So for example, I am doing this protocol, it's called the Ambitious Protocol I'm doing with Katie Boyd, and we have this amazing Facebook group. It's all these women from all over the world, and we are connecting all the time, and I have found that that is such a support for me. I've also found um, I'm working from home, but I am in regular contact with my coworkers, and just to pop on a video chat and see their faces just really makes me feel so much better. Um, beyond that, there are tons of online groups, like especially on Facebook, if you search, maybe like search things that you're interested in, you're gonna find people there. I'm even finding like on social media, through Instagram and YouTube, I am making new friends. So we are very lucky in the way that we're so connected through social media and those kind of things. So definitely make use of it. If you're feeling stressed, try to find people that you can reach out to and maybe just like talking about it and venting, hopefully that will make you feel a little bit better and at least less alone because right now everybody is going through hardships and hopefully you can find someone that you can lean on and even just talk it through and hopefully that will make you feel a little bit better. So I really hope these tips were helpful to you and I know I don't want to trivialize there are some really difficult things that some of you might be going through and I know that some of my tips, you know, aren't gonna solve all of your problems, but I really hope that they can help you somehow. I hope even if it's just to temporarily make you feel a little bit better in the moment or for the day, I just really hope that you are able to remain positive and we are going to get through this. It's not going to be easy, but you can do it and I'm here for you. If there's anything, if you have ideas um, for videos that are going to help you out, let me know. Um, just know that I really hope that you're safe and well at home and I am definitely here to support you. So have a great day, stay positive, bye. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. So if you liked my ideas, definitely give it a like and let me know if you have any ideas of your own on how to reduce stress as well. Let's talk down below and share our tips and tricks. Bye. Thank you.